guys, it's Jackie Muffer, the Mabel Tim Maven, and I am coming to you today in from the truck. I am driving through Mableton. Um, it's Saturday, and I am about to go and put out some signs for an open house that I have for tomorrow um, at a property on 61 Queen Anne Drive in Mableton, Georgia. And I um, wanted to just do a quick video about open houses because you never really see agents on camera talking about what's all involved in doing open houses. And um, you kind of have to get the word out. You got to well, decide on what house you want to market. Um, get permission to obviously market if you're not the listing agent. Get it from the, the listing agent or from the owner. And you got to do like a ton of ads. And in the last 24 hours, I've done about 20 ads, including Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, my blogs. Um, and today I've got an email out to my sphere of influence, everyone, that I'm doing an open house. I've recorded it as, or notated it in um, georgiaopenhouse.com as well as in GMLS. So, um, getting the word out. And right now I am about to go do some sign placements. I'm in Cobb County, so that means I, um, since it's a Saturday, I can put out my signs for the weekend. And right now I'm at the intersection of Nickajack Road and um, Floyd Road is the Publix over in that direction and the Kroger is over there and there's some signs that I have here in the front seat and some signs I have here in the back seat these are all gonna be going out on the streets and um, gonna try to get some business try to get some people to buy this house or at least come look at the house so I'm gonna go and decide where I'm gonna put the sign I'll probably put it right there because that's going to be a good little corner this weekend. And um, I'm also going to go put it in a couple other places around. So I'll show you a little bit of that right, too. So we're now at the intersection here. And uh, it's a pretty busy intersection on the weekend. And hopefully we won't have the sign people that want to come. People always like to mess with your signs. I guess they just have nothing better to do. But those are a couple signs that are out. And then I'm going to put some down the street from here. All right, and so we're here. We've got two more signs uh, here at Fontaine and Floyd Road. Now, some people might ask me why I would do double signs, especially I have the one for the guy at Mableton branding and then one with the Keller Williams. It obviously goes with Keller Williams because I'm with Keller Williams. But there's a process to my madness, I guess, uh, or method to my madness, that the more signs people see, the more they think there is to see. And so if you are putting, you know, diff different signs out, like some ideals you might have would be to put an open house sign for um, investment property and then a op regular open house sign or maybe an open house sign for foreclosure um, or different things, different scenarios. Um, first time, even first time home buyer signs plus a regular sign. The more that there's, they see, the more they feel there is to see, which will actually help uh, multiply the showings of a property so you can get it sold. So I'm over at the intersection of Fontaine and Nickajack Roads and it seems as if an agent has, uh, or maybe a for sale by owner, but I believe it's an agent, has uh, decided to hit this corner to do their open house signs and um, those are their signs over there. I don't know if that comes in that well over there, but we're going to put our sign right next to theirs. Why? Because we have a better listing. And just because yeah, all right, so my signs are up now, and you know, that green just pops, doesn't it? That got Mableton green, it's just eye popping. Hey, look what I happen to find. My sign, I wonder what happened to this sign. It got chewed by the lawnmowers. Wow, well, that's all right because I put another one right here at the intersection of East West Connector and Fontaine Road. Very, very busy stretch of highway here and thousands of cars each day. So we're gonna get this house sold this weekend. Darn it, we sure are. And of course I have my other open house sign here too as well. Okay, so I am at another site to put signs. I just put some signs out right over here on the intersection of Naked Jack and Cooper Lake Road. That green, I just tell you, is eye popping. And I just uh, put one also back over on um, Cooper Lake Road and East West Connector. So I have two on East West Connector as well. And I'm going to go down the other end of East West Connector and put some more signs. So I've got a total of like 20 signs. Um, 
and then I'm going to put out um, actually probably more than that because I got about maybe 25 places I'm thinking I want to just put signs out just for the weekend anyway for just the Gotten Ableton brand um, which gets people to the site and gets people to the site to want to buy my houses and in fact today funny thing is I had an owner contact me from my website he wants me to come by today at 4 30 which I got about two hours to go take a look at his house and see how I might be able to help him and then not even like 15 minutes later I got somebody calling with like guess what the same exact description of that house I mean isn't it funny how those things work so it's all about marketing you got to do a little bit of everything to kind of get the business going and get things sold so you have the sign placement there you got the website as you can see I think you can see that here um, you got, you know, your Facebook, your other social media, you have your ads, you have your telephone calls, you have your networking with agents, you got your door knocking, you have your flyer placement, um, you have your mailers, you got to do everything um, to make it happen because this is what it takes to be successful. Right, so I'm at this house now that I'm doing the open house on and I've had a couple of dilemmas that I was dealing with as I got up here because I have my open house flags which are always ever so popular and eye-catching but they didn't fit the distance between the house and the street so I had to improvise and don't really like how it's looking on the tree here and having to use this post here but you know I have to do what I've got to do to make it work so we're gonna keep it moving and uh, get this house sold this weekend and also another challenge that I have is how the leaves have started to fall on the uh, pathways there so what I've done since I am the handy dandy realtor of Mableton here I have brought along my own personal blower I don't know if you can get that good of a shot in there or not with my own power cord so I'm gonna blow the leaves maybe this is a better shot so I'm gonna blow the leaves out of the driveway so it'll look halfway decent because it is a lot of leaves so it's another thing you got to do to kind of prep and if you're thinking ah, shouldn't an owner do this yeah they should but you know by the time it takes them to get out here to do it I could already have it done and have my listing looking the way that I want it to look so I can have it ready for my open house so you guys okay, it's Jackie Mumford and I'm now here at the open house um, in Mableton um, and that I've been planning since about Thursday or so um, I've put it on Facebook, I've put it on email, I've sent it out to everyone, and so now I'm at the house. Just want to show you how I have it all set up there. I got the balloons. I put out about 20 balloons and signs today, and I came and blew the driveway. So it's a little bit of a slow start, but that's okay because it gives you a little extra time. Just set everything up the way you want. And I have my little welcome table here for the guests to come in and they can fill out their uh, comments and things and uh, we get the floors here it's just shining like crazy and the little vittles I brought for people some carrots and carrot sticks and cookies and things and um, that's about it so I'm ready for open house success and to get this thing sold today so thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye